Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do another experiment, but nothing has been working out for me so far. So with that being said, I will I just want to try some colors and I want to try like black and dark gray and light gray and white around the edges and then some yellows in the center with just a little bit of peach and a little bit of dark blue just kind of to break it up a little bit so nothing else that it's like one of those days where nothing works nothing else is working for me very well so far today even just this white paint that I put down didn't end up it was a pain in the butt so I'm just going to start layering some paint and see what happens. That was Liquitex Basics Mars Black, but I'm almost out of that. This is Master's Touch Neutral Gray. I'm almost out of the Liquitex Basics Mars Black, so I mixed up some Artist Loft Mars Black too. And this is some white with coconut milk hair serum titanium white and I want to do a little bit in the center before I do some more around the edges um, if this turns out okay what I want to do is um, get two more and put one on one side and one on the other side so I'm gonna make a like a loop. I'll show you. I'm gonna make like a shape like this in the center of this one. So imagine I had the other two, and they kind of are upside down to that. Like they're looping the other way. This is cadmium yellow deep hue mixed with iridescent white, and then. This is a Master's Touch Yellow Medium. And I think this is Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And now I wanna let that sit for a minute and do a little bit of the um, shoot I forgot to cut the end off of that well I won't be using that one today I wanted to see what it looked like compared to the other Mars black but I don't have scissors right now to cut the end off this is Payne's gray Now, what colors haven't we used? I'm not sure what I want to do with the peach and the um, Prussian blue. So I think I'll do them at the edges to do the Prussian blue at the edges and the peach in with the yellows. Um, and then I have lemon yellow, which is a creative inspirations color. And now I want to put some white again around here. And I want to put some white kind of to around here. I'm not sure if that makes sense. It doesn't quite make sense to me. I'm just playing to see what I can do. I wonder if I used all of my yellows. I think I did. And I put the peach in there. So, oh, and I forgot. I have some gold. I 
I almost forgot the gold. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that and see what happens whenever I use the hair dryer. And then this will help me figure out what to do for some other times. I'm trying to move my paints off the table without spilling anything else. Okay, now that the paints are gone, well, no, I'll just leave that there. Torch just a little bit, and then I'll definitely torch again in a minute. So, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I will be back in just a second. Okay, that's kind of what I was going for, but I wasn't going for, that's the loop that I was going for, but I wasn't going for, um, I think I put the white in the wrong place. I think I needed to blow the white this way over the yellow and then blow it back. It's kind of what I was going for with the edges and the colors, like with the color being like that, but I just don't like this big white section in the middle. And I was kind of hoping to get the whole side, so maybe I need to do it again. I can just go over these. That's 70% what I was going for. The gray and blue and black around the edges and the yellow in the center. But I messed up with the white and I don't have quite enough to go over my side. So maybe I need to do... This time I don't need two layers because I already have paint on there, but next time I think I will need two layers. But this is going down as my second layer right now, so that's fine. Um, what else did I need? I need this Payne's Gray here. And I forgot to put the white in there. Where I needed the white heavy was here. I know it looks like I'm going over the color I have, but I do have something in mind. So I will wipe my fingers. First I'll do this cadmium yellow deep and I'll go back like that. And then this one I think is cadmium yellow light. And then we'll put some peach in, no. Then we'll put the yellow medium. And then we'll put um, the peach.
and then lemon yellow. I know I'm adding a lot this time. Probably don't need this much this time. And a little bit of gold. But what we're going to do is I can still put this white here like I had. But I needed more of it up here too. Now I know what I want to try to do. This may not work out either, but it'll give me an idea of what to do next time. Needed to do it more like this setup. And that is more what I was going for. Give me a second to touch stuff up. All right, now I'll wipe my hands again. That's more what I was going for. But I think if I had done that the first time, done it right, this time I think I used too much yellow and it went too much over that way. I want, now I know what to do better next time. And it's put my darker colors at the top and the bottom and my yellow and then blow some white over the yellow both ways. And then as I'm spraying out the yellow, then I can finish off the ends, if that makes any sense. But I, I want to get a, this size, I like practice, I have like a commission order for three canvases to go in a triptych with whatever colors of my choosing and I have this pattern in mind but there are larger canvases so I wanted to practice on some smaller ones first this is what I had in mind and then the other two I think I'll get two more right now while they're while they are buy one get one half off if I make it to the store while they're on sale um, and then I, I think I'll do a primary color I think the other ones will be either red or pink and then a blue one and I think the way this one swoops this way I will swoop them this way no I will torch I'll go high because there is a lot of coconut milk hair serum in that white but I want more cells in that yellow I don't have a lot of cells in some of my yellow spots the paint is a little bit level so the paint will spread some more as it levels out um, there's like more paint right there and I could keep using the hair dryer and spread the paint more but I don't want to lose my design it's still not a perfect swoop so this one could stand alone but I'm hoping that if the other ones kind of go opposite, it'll look right whenever, whenever they're all three together. Um, I wish I had some more cells in the yellow over here. Maybe I put too much yellow on that second time, but I really wanted it to not get lost in there.
It's coming up in some other spots, so I think it will eventually come up. Some cells should come up right in here. Um, but I think that's it for this one. I'll take you down for a close-up. That paint will level out as it dries, so it may spread or run a little bit. I wish... I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I do... Maybe I shouldn't have put the yellow this way too, but I'm pretty happy with it. I like it, so I, like I said, will try to get a couple more canvases this size so that I can practice for my commission, which is on three larger pieces. I want to do a set on smaller ones first. Whoops. Just to make sure... I practice and know what I'm doing first um, so I'll try to get a couple more of these and try a couple more colors to go with this so let me know what you think in the comments below I will take you down for a close-up and thanks as always for watching please like subscribe and share my videos and have a blessed day bye okay I don't know how much of that you saw because whenever I grabbed my phone it was covered with a low battery message and so I don't know how much of that video you missed I won't find that out until I edit but I'll show you the close-up you can kind of see how it swoops like this sorry that might make you dizzy you can kind of see how it swoops like that um so I want to try to make the other one swoop the other way it seems more like a circle though so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to practice before I try a couple more so that I can make them kind of go together. I have all these cells that I was hoping for around the edges. I initially wasn't expecting the yellow to go to the edges, but the first time I did the white paint in the wrong spot. So whenever I did it again, I added a lot more yellow than what I needed. So I wish I had a few more cells here, but overall... I like it and I will definitely try a couple more to try to make a practice set out of these three before I attempt my larger ones for my commission. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I love that look of those cells with that yellow and that black and that gray and white. I just love all of those cells. I wish I had more cells around this edge like I did the first time, but I didn't have enough paint and I didn't do it the right way. So I had to do it again and I have to say I like it. So let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested and have a blessed day. Bye!